All right, back again with more Japanese tools. We got a nice uh, Japanese tool haul here of pliers, Japanese pliers. So we have Mary, we have Victor, we have Engineer, Tsunoda, and uh, Fujiya. So we're going to take a look at these. Um, let's start out with the Muramoto Teko. They make uh, Mary, is their brand of um, pliers. And uh, Muramoto Teko. They're around, been around for about 100 years or so, and uh, Mary is their pliers brand. So let's take a look. These are the 225 millimeter uh, side cutters. So quite long, high leverage. Let's see here. These um, uh, are nicely finished. You can see there, a little bit of goo there. I don't know what that is from the handle, I guess. Made in Japan, Mary. Uh, let's see how the finishing on the jaws is. It's a nice and square. Nice action. The um, handle is more of a hard rubber, almost a plastic, but still a little rubbery. Um, I kind of like a softer rubber, but that's okay. Has a crimping section down the bottom here. Very nice finishing. So this is, uh, these are pretty tough looking pliers, very large. Um, <clears throat> 225 millimeter, and uh, these are from Mary in Japan. Getting into some more Mary here. We got some some dikes, some nippers. So these are spring loaded, 200 millimeter, and uh, made in Japan. I will say right off the bat, these in their image when I purchased them. I, I got these from Mary themselves. And uh, the picture is yellow, yellow handles. Um, and getting this, it's more of an orange with black. Uh, so that does not reflect the, the product image, which is always, you know, kind of disappointing. Um, a little more effort can be put into that. So let's see the finishing on these. Very nice indeed, actually. 99W-200, obviously less concern for the, the aesthetics of the back side here. These are spring-loaded, same type of plasticky rubber handle, pretty high leverage. I like the spring action, feels nice. You can see the uh, the jaws come together uh, pretty much perfectly. They really do. So those are the Mary diagonal cutters. Another one from Mary, 225 millimeter um, semi long nose pliers. Oh, also here you can see some of their Nile Air tools, their sister brand, I guess, under Muramoto Teco. Uh, so various nippers and cutters. Looks like it's more for um, manufacturing use. So these have a much nicer rubber handle versus the plasticky rubber. Um, I like this this style better. Feels nicer in the hand versus the plasticky rubber. And uh, these are semi long nose quite high leverage, very beefy. Very nicely finished on these. These are actually very beautiful. A little grease on there. Um, extremely aggressive. Cross cut teeth in there. Very aggressive indeed. little piece of cardboard just so I can feel it 
Very aggressive. These are really neat looking, actually. Um, put these into rotation and check them out. But yeah, these are very nicely finished. I don't know the difference, like why these are finished on both sides and these are not. Uh, that's kind of a mystery to me. Maybe they're just a higher level of uh, product from Mary. I'm not sure. So those are the semi-long nose. Also from Mary, we have, let's see here. 105-F, 175 millimeter. There, there's the actual first time we've seen it. Muramoto Teco. So made in Japan. Mary, let's check these out. Oh, this shows all their various pliers and various things and different profiles. So these are like a square nosed. Uh, long plier, serrated edge. Serration's very nice on these. Uh, I really like the serration on this one and this one. They're very nice. Come together nicely. I mean, that's um, pretty much perfect in the manufacturing there. So these are also very, these are beautifully finished. Um, not quite sure the difference, why there's a difference in the finishing on some of these. This is clearly nicer than these. <clears throat> but these also have the same handles, so maybe that's just a, a different lineup of, of uh, tool. Very nicely finished. These are very, very nicely made, spring-loaded. You can see the jaws coming together there. I mean, just perfectly square. Instead of needle nose, nose pliers, these are just square ended. Um, very nice serrations there. Spring loaded. And last from Mary, we have 150 millimeter long, made in Japan, uh, lead pliers, Rido Penchi. So, lead pliers. And there's no serration on these. So if you're working on electronics or just something very small, very nicely finished. Yeah, whatever this lineup is with the uh, rubberized handles, uh, they are very beautifully finished. Uh, perfectly square. Come on. Kind of hard to focus there. Very nicely finished, and they're just a, just a flat jaw, and very nice indeed. So those are, are the offerings from Mary. Let's look at um, Victor Plus here. So Victor is another longtime maker of pliers. I believe they're owned by Fujia now, some kind of conglomerate. So these are the Victor Plus. I understand that that's their uh, kind of flagship um, best of best in class pliers. You got the craftsman finishing these. Or I guess uh, supposedly these are just um, uh, hand finished by uh, by um, by craftsmen in their plant that have been at it a long time. Uh, made in Osaka, I believe. So you can see here, these nippers are angled, so you get a nice flush cut. Beautiful mirror finish on there, rubberized handle. These also have holes, so you could tether them. And uh, made in Japan. And apparently these are handmade. Uh, hand finished rather uh, very nice though they look very nice look forward to putting those into use let's test them out with a little little wire nice clean cut there so that's the Victor Plus I uh, haven't messed with those before 
these out of here. Next up is the uh, Engineer, and they're pretty famous. They're around. Um, they've been around. You know, most people have seen them either as Engineer or in the U.S. as Vampire pliers. And these are more for screw extracting. You can see there they have vertical serrations. in the plier jaws. Very complex jaw um, geometry there. Nicely finished. Uh, these are the Nijisaurus. Elastomer handles. And they have a kind of a transformer look to them. But uh, very nicely finished. And what these can do, you know, you can grab onto stripped out screws and you do get a good grip on that. And you could just twist them out and work out the the screw if the uh, head is un is uh, ruined, stripped out. Something really small, dainty. So even if this is flush with your work surface, that could grab onto it and help you get out that fastener without drilling it out. I mean that'd be like very hard to do with something so small. So those are the engineer. Most people have probably seen those before. Next up in this uh, pliers hall is uh, Tsunoda. And Tsunoda is another one, been around 50, 60 years. Um, pretty recognizable brand if, you've, uh, if you're around Japanese tools. Kind of shows the uh, process of manufacturing and finishing. So these are Tsunoda. These are another specialty item, like the Engineer. These are for zip ties. So let's look at the finishing. Nice handle. Rubberized, made in Japan. Nicely finished. You can see there's a few aspects here to look at. There's that flush cut type of uh, feature, but they're they're rounded, so you could get almost below flush cut for the uh, for zip ties when you cut them and there's two sections here that have serrated teeth there and behind the pivot and what those are for is basically when you're tightening a uh, zip tie you can grip it with that and pull it real tight and even get it really tight on whatever you're fastening it onto and then get a nice flush cut and there's no sharp edge there at all very nice so those will be specifically for for zip ties and getting a nice clean cut there um, we're all familiar with how sharp and jagged they are if you try to cut them with something uh, something else so you can even grab I suppose in the rear here or grab right there tighten them up and a nice flush cut so those are the Tsunoda 125 millimeter I think they have a longer version of those but they um, I don't really see the need for for that much leverage for just zip ties lastly we got the uh, Suzu kid from Fujia. Um, Suzu Pen, I don't know what all this is from, this branding. Uh, these, kind of disappointed in that I didn't know. I thought these were made in Japan. Um, these are actually made in Vietnam by Fujia. And uh, if I'd known that, I probably wouldn't have got them. Probably would have picked something else. But here they are. And these are bent nosed pliers. Um, these are advertised as welding pliers for uh, dealing with your your wire and such. And uh, let's see here. I really like the uh, look of these. They have some cutters, some jaw, some serrated uh, serrations in the jaw there. But I like the serrated bent portion with also the machined out side so you get a very slim profile for getting in places uh, so that kind of attracted to me attracted me to these uh, plastic on the handle 
it's almost not rubber at all. It's more like plastic. But um, yeah, uh, I would have been more happy with these if they were made in Japan. Uh, but still use them. Check them out. So this has been my pliers haul from Japan. All these different pliers. Going to put them into put them to use. Check them out. Uh, Mary, Victor, Engineer, Tsunoda, Fujiya. I think those are the main. The main um, those are some of the main brands of Japanese pliers you'll see around. And uh, this has been another Japanese tool haul. Thanks for watching.